When working with a control like the data grid, you may need to implement custom user interaction, such as display a context menu for data rows or invoke an edit form when double clicking a row. In these cases, you'll need to identify the grid element at the specified coordinates. In this video, you'll learn how to obtain this information. First, you'll display tooltips indicating which element is currently under the mouse cursor. Then you'll use hit information to implement custom filtering UI. Whenever end users right click a column cell, the column will be filtered against the clicked cell's value. By clicking the auto filter row, they can clear the filter in an individual column or the entire view. Let's start with an application that has a grid control with the auto filter row enabled. Go to design time, drop the tooltip controller component onto the form, and assign it to the grid's tooltip controller property. Then, handle the tooltip controller's get active object info event. In the event handler, call the view's calc hit info method, which accepts coordinates within the grid and returns a newly created hit information object containing information on the view's element at the specified location. Use the hit test property to obtain the target element type. Finally, set the element's name as the tooltip text. Now run the application to see the result. When you hover the grid controls elements with the mouse pointer, the tooltip displays the target element's name. Now let's see how you can use hit information to modify user interaction. Close the application, select the grid and handle its mouse down event. Like before, call the calc hit info method to obtain the hit information object. Check whether it was a right click and whether the test point is within a grid row. The row handle property identifies the clicked row. Check whether this property returns the auto filter row handle. If the test point is in the auto filter rows indicator, clear all applied filter conditions by calling the clear method of the grid's active filter object. If the click wasn't in the row indicator area, then it must be in one of the columns. Get the target column via the hit info objects column property and clear only this column's filter. If the click was on a row, but not on the auto filter row, the code assumes that it was one of the data rows. To obtain the clicked cell's value, call the grid's get row cell value method and pass the row handle and column properties of the hit info object. Then filter the clicked column using the returned value. Now run the application. Right click any row with the new status to see that the grid's data is now filtered by this value. In the same manner, filter data by clicking the low priority and mic roller cells. Then right click the priority cell in the auto filter row to clear this column's filter. Right click the auto filter rows indicator to clear all existing filter settings.